In this video, we're going to be talking about child support in Indiana and frequently asked questions about child support. So things like how is support calculated? How do you modify support? When does child support end? We're going to talk about that. So about me, my name is Nathan Vining. Hopefully by the end of this video, you know more about child support in Indiana. And essentially, one of the first things we're going to talk about is just what is child support? Uh, child supports a payment that's paid by one of the parents that supports basic expenses like food, uh, clothing, education, child care. Essentially how it's calculated is the court looks to a lot of factors. They look at things like health care expenses, child care expenses, the party's respective incomes. They put it through the calculator and it generates a number that's the recommended child support in Indiana. So essentially there's a lot of factors that go into it. This slide covers that. But essentially, uh, one of the big things is how many children there are. Another big factor is do the parties have other children? Are there prior born children or are there subsequent born children or even children that a person's paying child support for? If there are those things going to the calculation, you would look at the parent's gross weekly income. A lot of times somebody may give me their net income, but the courts actually go off the gross income. So how much you make before taxes and other things are taken out of the check. Then you look at health care and child care expenses. And basically all of those go into the Indiana Child Support Worksheet and generate a recommended child support number. And you can go and actually calculate this yourself right here at this website at indiana.gov. There's a child support calculator for parents. And essentially parties at the start of the case, they can go through those numbers themselves and make an agreement over child support. But ultimately if there's not an agreement, you can retain an attorney and actually go through and walk the court through what you believe the calculation should be. Uh, a lot of times there can be issues like self-employment income or, or unreported income that may drive the numbers up or down. So a lot of times income is a big thing that drives uh, disputes in the amount of the child support payment. How long does child support last in Indiana? In Indiana, it lasts until the child turns 19. It can end earlier if the child graduates high school earlier and is self-supporting or uh, the child's legally emancipated. Support can actually even go past 19 if there's a special need such as a disability and a parent can request that support extend past the age of 19. So essentially, at the start of a divorce, uh, custody or paternity case typically would get an initial child support order. It can be modified from time to time. There's a couple things that need to be done for it to be modified. There's kind of two situations. Either the current order is 12 months old and the request would modify the support by 20% or there's some kind of substantial change or life circumstance that renders the current support order unreasonable. So for instance, uh, job loss or major changes in uh, things like child care that would make a mo major modification in the amount of support could allow you to come into court sooner and modify that support. Ultimately, it's just a matter of how much of a change there is in the support order or is there some kind of major life event or significant life change that uh, justifies a change in support. So some of the kind of things that you would see that could cause somebody to modify support would be loss of employment, health complications that could change the person's uh, income and ability to work, remarriage of a parent, child's emancipation, or sometimes in child ages out and one child turns 19 but you still have other minor children. You would need to go in and recalculate child support for only the number of minor children rather than all the children. Changes in custody can be a big factor that changes support. So for instance, if there's uh, a change in parenting time, a person used to have guideline parenting time, but now they have equal parenting time, that would be a big factor. Um, so those are the things that you would look at that could cause a modification. If you are ordered to pay child support, there's a lot of ways you can make payments. You can actually go online and pay child support through a Indiana site. You can send it in by mail, there's the address. You can pay in person at your county clerk. And there's actually certain services that allow you to pay child support, like uh, MoneyGram and pay, my, pay By Me. So ultimately, if you have questions about child support, feel free to give me a call. I'd be happy to talk about what's going on and see if we can help. 